Hi again, welcome to our uh, eighth uh, lesson tutorial how to work with a uh, photo editor developed by MacGyver. Um, today I'm going to show you some other tools that are available in this application and what could we do with, uh, with it. Uh, choose an image. Uh, let's scroll at the bottom. Uh, to the second effect tab uh, since I don't use it a lot I've placed it in uh, at the end of the menu okay right here effect number two uh, let's take a quick look um, flip X uh, flip Y round corner you can control how round the corner will be um, reflection look at the bottom you can actually create a, a reflection uh, illusion if you like it mirror X you can actually mirror the image again if you like it um, mirror Y, same story. Uh, st stretch. Look how fat she gets. Oh, you can make her in diet. Okay. Uh, skew. That's about all the uh, effects right here. Okay, uh, back to the uh, regular menu. Uh, we can find here a nice tool, uh, the correction tool right here. Uh, it will allow you to control the temperature of the photo. Temperature means that you can control if the photo will look uh, with warm uh, uh, tone, warm colors, if you scroll it to the left or if you scroll it to the right with very cool uh, color choose what your uh, preferred uh, look okay there is an option right here to whiten thing you can use the brush again and just go over and make lighter the area that you want. Of course, you can go and do it more precisely. Um, red eye. You can remove uh, red eyes. I haven't checked it, I have to admit, this option. Uh, I'll try to do it and uh, come back with the results. Uh, Let's go again to the correction tool and the last option here is uh, perspective right here. Uh, what you could do, take the photo and create something like that and apply it. Now if we go back to the body menu and scroll till we find uh, for example the frame options right here. Uh, and within the frame, let's choose the drop shadow option. Look at the shadow underneath the photo. Of course, it's laid down on a, a white background, otherwise we won't be able to see the shadow. Uh, and you can control the amount of the shadow, actually its size, how shadow, how big it will be, or if you scroll to the left, how small it will be. Okay, so we've created a shadow. Let's apply it. This is the photo after we have changed its perspective and created a shadow uh, underneath. Uh, what else can we do with this photo? Let's try to do it now on live. Um, let's go again to something that we have done before. Uh, 
Okay, text and image. That was what I was looking for. Um, click on the plus. Add image. Go to the gallery. Let's choose the color that we've done before. Let's keep it in the uh, the way it is. Uh, apply it. Mm, let's move it a little bit. You know what? Let's enlarge it and put it right here. Okay, the range of course it's grayed out since we have only one layer. Uh, what could we do here? Okay, go back to the edit, crop, and now let's... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Let's try together. Um, Let's brush it out. Let's check it. Click on the apply. Mm. It's not what I want to do, so uh, pff, go back to the edit, undo it. I believe we can go uh, 10 times undo. Uh, okay. Let's brush only the image. As you already understand, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but let's do it together. Okay, apply. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted to create, you know what? Let's go again to the edit. Undo. Let's keep it full opacity. Brush it again, apply. Okay, much better. If you can call it much better. Okay, let's put it right here. And approve it. Okay, this is also an effect. Not exactly what I wanted to do in this tutorial, but it's fine also. Uh, what else can we do here? Let's try together. Um, To, let's go to the drawing brush color let's choose black blue I uh, set the opacity to 100% let's just try to color it now again don't worry if you go over the photo don't do it but if you've already done it don't bother to undo it. Since I remind you, you can go back to the eraser and simply erase the area that you don't want to be color. Okay. Like it or not, that's what we have done today. Yep. Okay. If you find uh, something interesting and something that you want me to uh, show um, the other user of the application, don't hesitate to send me an email. Uh, my email is written uh, at the bottom on the description uh, page of this tutorial. Take care. See you in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.